welcome to Geeks for Geeks. So today our topic is security risks of cloud computing. So now let's try to understand what are the different security risks of uh, that the cloud computing is facing. Okay. So the topics that I'm going to cover in this video is what exactly the cloud computing is and what are the features of the cloud computing and what are the different security risks of the cloud computing. So before trying to understand what are the security risks, let's try to have an uh, overview on what exactly the cloud computing is and what are the features of the cloud computing. Now let's have a look. What is a cloud computing? So I'll tell in a simple terms, a cloud computing means a storing and accessing the data as well as the programs on remote servers. It's not a local servers. On remote servers, we are trying to store the data and we are trying to access the data and the programs that are hosted on internet. This is a very important. This is the hosted on internet instead of computer hardware, hard drives or local servers. So you are not trying to store your data in your local hard drive okay or the local servers we are trying to store or retrieve the data or you can access the data on remote servers okay so hosted by internet a cloud computing is a process of providing computing services to users on their demand through the internet so with the help of the internet we are trying to access the cloud services on the user's demand means you can demand and you can retrieve the information so the users can only pay for what they use you are not supposed to pay the complete amount for whatever the storage you had by. So you can pay how much of storage you are using on the cloud. Only for that we can pay. Okay. So that is the meaning of the only pay for what they use. A cloud computing is also referred as internet based computing. That is what I am saying. So without internet you can't access or retrieve the data. So cloud computing is also referred as internet based computing. Now let's have a look on what are the features of the cloud computing. The different features are the first one is resource pooling. Resource means the different items like the hardware resources or if you want to try to access, you're, you're not supposed to purchase. You want to access that resources. You can use that resources whenever it is over, you can hand over that. Okay. Resource pooling. A pooling means the different people are trying to access the same resources. Okay. At the same time, they can use at the same time. On demand self-service. So this is like a self-service. You can demand and you can use. So on-demand self-service, that is a feature providing by the cloud computing. Easily maintenance. The maintenance is very easy. You are not, you are not need to supposed to maintain your data. The complete your storage, your data is going to be maintained by the cloud service providers. Okay. A large network access. So this is not a limited one because we are trying to access the data and storing the data on the remote servers. Whenever we are trying to work on the remote servers, so a large network access is required. Availability. A lot of availability is there. Okay. There is no limit for that. You, for how much you want, you can use that. You can pay for that. Automatic system service are there. It is economical. Obviously, the cloud computing services are economical. Security. They are providing a lot of security when compared to your local servers, the remote servers, they are providing a high secure services. Pay as you go, etc. So these are all the different features of the cloud computing. So I think you get an exact idea what exactly the cloud computing is by seeing these features. Now let's have a look on the security risk. So a cloud computing not only provides the advantages. So whatever I said just now, it's the features. Those are the advantages of the cloud computing also. Like storage capacities, improved collaboration, excellent accessibility, mobility. Okay, these are all some advantages that this cloud computing is providing. Storage capacity is providing. It is trying to improve the collaboration and excellent accessibility. Mobility feature is there. Okay, but it also having some security risk. So what are the common security risks that the cloud computing is having? Theft or intellectual property. Trying to theft, uh, theft your uh, information. APS are not secure. The application program interfaces, whatever you are using, they are not secure. Data breaches are there. DOS attacks may occur. Accounts get hijacked. Applications are not secure. Not trusted cloud service provides are used. So many people are trying to use the non-trusted cloud services. Whenever you are uh, using the non-trusted uh, cloud service providers, obviously you will face some problem. Okay. 
So now let's have a look on what are the theft of intellectual property. Okay. The sensitive data, whatever the your information, every person information is a sensitive data. Okay. That is sensitive for you. Okay. So you think your data is a sensitive. So that sensitive data is going to be uploaded by companies to cloud based file management services. The sensitive data is going to be uploaded by comp in the companies. Uh, they are having a lot of information, the users information as well as their company's information. All they are trying to uh, store on the cloud. So they are uh, companies to cloud based file management services. A survey is conducted. Generally, a survey is conducted by Sky High Foundation. This is one foundation. They conducted a survey. What they are saying, they say is that the companies face risks of having their intellectual property stolen every company is facing some risks like maybe our property is going to be stolen by some other third party the strong cloud security measures may help the organization by providing security to their intellectual property so for every drawback there is a obviously a solution will be there okay if you try we will get a solution in the same way for every strong cloud uh, the strong cloud security measures may help the organizations the companies by providing security to their intellectual property but the weak cloud security measures within an organization including storing data without encryption and also failing to manage the multi factor authentication to gain access to the service so that is what that's why everyone is trying to prefer the cloud services the cloud is going to provide a strong security measures but if you are trying to store your data in your local cloud like you are within an organization storing data without encryption obviously a multiple factor authentication failing to manage the multiple factor authentication is gaining to the access to the services okay so this is the first the next security threat is uh, insecure application interfaces. If you are trying to use the insecure APS, obviously there will be a threat. Okay. So the cloud service experience can be customized by users with the help of application program interface. But APS also create a threat to cloud security due, due to their different nature. Actually, this is one of the advantage is there as well as it having some drawback that means because of their different nature there is a threat to the cloud security if you use the apis it is trying to provide better service to users they also increase the security risk on data client store if you take the youtube youtube is one of the site with an application program interface that allows user to embedded youtube videos into their apps or website Okay, you can directly take the embedded link and you can uh, copy and paste in your website. So there is a chance this within an APS that allows the YouTube users to embedded the YouTube videos into their apps or website. Even though it is providing a good opportunity to the users. Yeah, actually this is one of the good opportunity because we are trying to access the YouTube videos on your website. But it also increase the level of vulnerability to their data. Okay. So that is the insecure APIs. So this is one of the threat facing. And next is the data breaches. What is this data breaches? First, let me explain you the data breach. Data breaching is a situation. You call it as a situation or an incident where the data is stolen without the knowledge of user or system owner. Suppose you are the system owner and you are the user. You are trying to work on something on the or internet. So without your knowledge, the data may be stolen by the third party. That is the data breaching. Data breaching is a situation or an incident where data is stolen without the knowledge of users or system owner. So it is one of the common threat found in the cloud computing where there is an issue of loss of data is arise. <laughs> okay. It is occurred by allowing non-trusted people in network or due to the low security also. To overcome this drawback, so a solution for this is the users has to allow only trusted people in network and tie the security of network as much as possible. So what what the solution for this try to use only the trusted people on network. And another thing is we have to make it tighten the security of network as much as possible. So that is another threat. Next is a DOS attack. What do you mean by DOS? 
DOS means denial of service. D means denial. O means of. S is a service. Denial of service. DOS attack is the most damaging threat in cloud computing world. It can shut your cloud servers and make it unavailable for the, all the users and the developers. So see how much threat it is. It is trying to even shut down your cloud servers also because you are unable to access all the users and the developers also. Okay. The attacker transfers huge traffic to your servers which causes shutting down of servers. So how the attacker is playing the role here? The DOS attack, denial of service. Here the attacker is trying to transfer the huge traffic to your servers. Whenever a large uh, traffic to the service is there, automatically what is the congestion is occurred. Congestion is occurred and it creating the shutdowning of the servers also. There may be a chances of shutdowning of servers. So whenever the servers are shut down, the user cannot access their information. The solution to overcome this DOS attack or what is the solution? Purchase more bandwidth which can handle huge traffic and other solutions in your distributed service. So what we have to do? Try to purchase more bandwidth. If more bandwidth is, if the... Uh, attacker is trying to send more traffic to your servers your bandwidth is able to handle the traffic whenever it is able to handle the traffic your servers will not get down so this is one of the solution and another is when huge traffic comes to your servers transfer it to multiple servers for balancing the load and another solution is trying to transfer it to multiple servers for balancing the load so these are the two uh, solutions for whenever the DOS attacks are going to be occurred. Okay. Without occurring the DOS attacks, you can do this. Try to purchase more bandwidth. Suppose you are not able to try to purchase more bandwidth. Then try to transfer it to multiple servers for balancing the load. Next, account hijacking. See, this is also one of the regular attacks that are occurring in the cloud service. Account is going to be hijacking. It is possible for hackers to log into the servers through staff accounts due to weak credentials. So the people are trying to keep a weak credentials because if they, they are try, they thought that maybe uh, we will forget the passwords, we will forget the usernames. So that's why they'll keep a simple passwords. So whenever the weak credentials are there, uh, the hacker is easily trace your password and they are trying to log into the servers by using the staff accounts. So once logged into the server, they can steal all important information without knowing anyone. Without knowing, without your uh, information, without your knowledge, the hacker is trying to access your information by entering into the servers, by using your credentials. Because you are giving a weak credentials. Whenever you are given the weak credential, the hacker can easily hack your account. Email phishing is an, another approach which hackers follow. What is this email phishing? The, you, you'll get some uh, spam emails, okay? So, you, whenever you click on that spam or something like uh, the email attachment, whenever you try to download that attachment, automatically the hacker is entered into your system means he is trying to access your information. So, then what will be the solution for this? So, the only solution is generate a credentials of high level. Try to keep your usernames and the passwords with strong credentials and never click on emails which seems to be a fraud. Don't try to open the files which are not related to yours. Okay. This is the only solutions you can uh, maintain your credentials safe and your server safe. Next is insecure applications. So insecure application is also one of the threat that the cloud computing is facing. You are not supposed to install those applications which are third party and which are insecure. It is just like a key in hole for hackers for entering to servers. The solution is always monitor application. So don't try to install the and download the insecure applications. Only trust on the trusted uh, parties. Okay. Don't work on the third parties and always try to install and download with the people who are the genuine one. Okay. So the solution is always trying to monitor your applications. And the last one is using non-trusted cloud service providers. There is a security risk in the cloud computing. There is a possibility with the non-trusted cloud service providers is that they can access your data because you are using their services. Right or wrong? Whenever we are using their services, they have the right to, they can access your data. So if it is not a trusted cloud service providers, 
okay so obviously they can try to access your data because they have the database of users ids and their passwords you are storing your user ids and credentials on their servers whenever you are uh, storing your information on their servers there is a chance they can access your credentials so try to uh, use the trusted cloud service providers only don't go for all the uh, whatever the, they are giving a very best benefits and we have to go with it so don't do that okay so try to use only the trusted cloud service provider so the solution is always try to use the most trusted cl cloud service provider to save your valuable information so these are all the different security risks in the cloud computing so i hope you understand students still if you are facing any doubt please let me know thank you